romantic. Okay, that's great. All right. Hope, I hope that this is in the main podcast because if so, that's funny as shit. <laughs> Shout out to our audio engineer Yuki. Yes. In the chat. Thank I you appreciate much. you. Our and thirty I'm, I'm, second I'm delay. Dead serious. I'm not even being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad someone could point that out. It's funny too because like it was looking perfect on my end, but fuck me, I guess. Um, it's the yeah. damn grid, fam. I mean, it, it's funny because we went to use this program. Two weeks ago, it was, I think. Remember when you tried to do it from home two weeks ago, and I was like, oh, yeah. let's just use GribFam, because easy. And then the whole website was down. That's right. That is right. I forgot the about that. The whole website. And then I was like, today I, I, I got back. I got some motherfucking Arby's, you know? I'm like, beef and the cheddar meats. it up, you know? And mm-hmm. I, I'm like setting everything up, and I'm sitting here for a second, restarting my computer just so it's good to go. You know, like, nice little refresh. Right. And I'm like, oh, yeah, GridFam isn't working. Or at least it wasn't two weeks ago. Fuck. And then I typed it in. I was so happy when the website loaded. I'm like, <laughs> when it came up, bruh. <laughs> like, of course. Thank but, you, um, GridFam. Yeah. You have no idea how much we need you. It was crazy, too, because I think the, the guys from the Haptic guys, they actually exclusively use this to record their podcast, mm-hmm. like on Twitch and shit. And they went to do their podcast two weeks ago, and I forgot to let them know because I was just like, it was like a fleeting thing for us. Like I saw the issue, and I was like, oh, it doesn't work. Whatever. I didn't think much of it, and then I was like, I should probably let them know. Mm-hmm. Didn't forgot to, and then they were like 15 minutes late on their stream. They're like, yeah, apparently our fucking website that we <laughs> use doesn't work anymore, and I'm in the chat like I'm the asshole. I could have, <laughs> I could have prevented, prevented this. this. <laughs> like, God damn it. <laughs> Bad future. I was, I was gotta go back in time and change the outcome. Yeah. It's like my, it's, this is my one regret in life. I didn't help them, but like, <laughs> fuck. You're on your deathbed in the future, and it's like, your, your, like your child and his and his or her family is help, yeah. standing next to you, holding your hand. It's like you lived a good life, Dad. If we, I can't, I can't bear to be without you, but I know the time has come, and you're just like my only regret is not telling the haptic guys about grid fam. <sighs> Please go back in time. Time travel's real now. Except for it's the future, so I would literally be like, I'd be like, go tell them the future. Please, please go tell them in the past so it doesn't mess up the future. Because in the they future, I would, I would get that installed in my throat. <laughs> my vocal cords would literally be cords. Like you go back and uh, you're just you're like, yeah, mom, you don't know me, but my father is a uh, uh, Chris, Chris King, and uh, he's a good good friend of yours, and uh, he just wants to let you know that Grid Fam isn't working, and he this also said in a very for. beautiful melodic voice. Yeah, in the year 2099, everyone has auto tune <laughs> installed in their fucking vocal cords. Everyone. T pain and the T stands for throat. That's what the uh, the Nappy Boy team is going to come out with next. It's just everybody gets vocal core <laughs> surgery that installs auto-tune. <laughs> Forget the gaming shit. We're just going to get into the medical field. Um, That's all we got to do now. Hell yeah. But um, appreciate That's you right. guys for being C-Pain. here. pain You know what's funny? Uh, I was supposed to do a thing, which I will do right now, for the video amigos. There's a thing on Twitch that I use called Stream Avatars. I literally had it uploaded, and there it goes. There's everybody in the chat. Now they're at the bottom. Sorry, guys. I forgot <laughs> to hit the, the connect button, which makes it do the thing. But um, hell yeah. Appreciate you guys for all being here in the chat. All yeah, of you. man. Um, as always. <clears throat> as always. Um, what's going on in life, Ant? This is a this is going to be a very light podcast when it comes to the news section. So we got to fluff this up a bit. Because we know were just literally on here Wednesday and reported yeah. all the news. Um, what, baby, watch twenty twenty two, man. That's all I do now until he gets really? here. God um, damn. it's just I'm living a life full of baby contractions <laughs> and belly rubbing mm. and tending to my wife who is carrying the child. That is true. Those are all. So if I'm not down here talking to you. I'm doing that. That's like the two things you do in life now. That's it. Right now, that's Goddamn. it. No, I feel you, man. Um, Trent's back. So now he I'm is. Back. He is. 
So he's Came he's back, back earlier than expected, right? Isn't that like the plan? No, was like the deal to like... was well, we thought the kid would be here by now. Mm. So the deal was to hold Trenton until her dad was going to watch him until the baby got here. Mm-hmm. And he had him for two weeks. Like, well, I'm bringing him back now. We're like, well, yeah, we thought we'd have another kid in here at this point. Yeah. So now he's God back. Damn. damn. Doing the Trenton thing. Well, now he's going to have to come with you guys when uh, you go to do the thing. I know. Well, uh, maybe not. Just give him a switch. It's fine. That's all it takes. Yo, when he came in the house, like we finally got home, Mm -hmm. and we're all like, hey, man, how are you? How you been? What you been up to? He just comes to me. He's like, can I play your Switch? I was like, hello. Like, hi. (laughs) You didn't miss me? You just want to play my Switch? He's got his priorities straight. You got the good games. He missed your (laughs) games. Uh, But (laughs) that's my life. God damn. They would induce next week, uh, Javaraf. Okay. I don't know what that means. I just know that's a medical They term. would make him, they would make the baby come out. Oh, what are they like? Get out of here! <laughs> Hands behind your back! Like, they'd Head physically, first! <laughs> they'd physically make her water break. And I think they inject you with something that kind of makes the contract, like, it contracts so that mm. the baby kind of, it makes him come out, pretty much. Technology's crazy, yo. It is. You can just be like, yo, baby, come on out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like nowadays. <laughs> the further it gets, the more I'm like, yo, come the fuck out. Yeah, I feel you. Castor oil is the natural stuff to make that happen. Isn't that is that like car oil? Castor oil isn't car oil. I don't fucking know. It sounds like <laughs> something you get in like Fallout 76 or some shit. Like you find You're some like- castor oil and then you <laughs> grease up your gun. To make it clean or something? That's like fucking motor oil, like like mobile motor oil. Like I'm gonna go to Pet Boys and like yeah. here, drink this, Adrian. <laughs> the baby will come right on out. That, hey man, maybe it, maybe that's how it works. You never know. We've been but, doing um, all like the natural stuff that they said to do, like like um <clears throat> like eating dates and taking walks and. Mm. We got an exercise ball and you like bounce on the exercise ball. So you like, can oh. shake it out, you know? Yeah, like, but you know, that kid is just in there just holding on, like, nope, not gonna come out. <laughs> gonna hold this. It's like the scene from Far From Home where it's like Andrew Garfield's just holding on to the roof. And he's yeah. just like, see, I'm sta- this is uh, this is a safe place. I'm staying here. He's literally in there doing that, just holding on. Yeah. Goddamn. Have you did you do the thing? I saw it on like tiktok when tiktok first became a thing in my life it mm-hmm. was like you go up behind your wife and you like hold the baby yes i did that yeah and then she just is like oh my god like cause because obviously all that weight is there and now it's i'll gone. never know how it feels but yes the baby is just weighing your belly yeah. down so like i went behind her and i lifted her stomach from the back mm-hmm. and yeah she would just because she saw the same thing yeah and she was just like oh my because i'm pretty much taking the weight from her yeah, that's I saw that video and I was like, that that's that's pretty pretty fucking neat right there. That's a cool gesture. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just saw the TikTok. Here I am. You did <laughs> the kid, thing. That kid is a fucking fat, greedy asshole right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hope that for some reason your kids never come back and listen to the original episodes. And by then, do. we have like a season six or something. And mm-hmm. each season, we just start fresh with number one or something like disc two, <laughs> episode one or some shit like that. <laughs> so then they're like, you know, I'm just going to start on disc three. I don't need to listen to season one at all. <laughs> you Because like she'll have like really wild contractions or her stomach will hurt mm-hmm. and he'll be moving a lot. We'll always think, oh, this must be it. This must be the moment. Finally, finally, finally. Mm-hmm. And then she'll eat something and he'll calm down. So I'm like, oh, you're just in there throwing a tantrum because you want to eat food. Yeah. Not that baby shouldn't want to eat food, but chill out. You're you're causing havoc on the outside. True. Is she like addicted to fruit still? Is that like the thing still going on? No, that craving ended and now it's... It went from fruit. At one point it was cereal. At one point it was... um, we were getting burgers a lot because she wanted burgers. Mm. And now it's it's like liquid now. Now she just wants like iced tea all the time. Crystal light. 
<laughs> if I gave her crystal light, she would smack that shit out of my head. Like, no, real iced tea. I'm like, I'm sorry. What is like real iced tea? Could you just like use tea bags and like, like yeah, she ice wants water? Like, sweet tea. Like, like what's that? Gold Peak, the brand, mm-hmm. or something like that. I don't drink tea. It's not my Listen, thing. She's a tea aficionado. Mm. God damn. Baby is doing the spider climb from Ninja Warrior, said Yuki in the chat. <laughs> Pretty <gasps> much. Stuck on the walls. <laughs> I really got up to closer to her stomach one day. I was like, get out. Leave. Leave the belly. It's a gift from the movie, get out. <laughs> get get, get out, much. bleeding from the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me doing that. God damn. It's more annoying on the inside. But enough <laughs> about that. Yeah. I feel like I keep babying this uh the intro to our pods out. I mean it's interesting. You're probably like, shit, I don't want to hear more fair. about that shit. This is a video game podcast. True, but there's not much video game news happening right now. It, we're in a very nice lull where there's not too much coming out, and the stuff that is coming out is like indie stuff or like smaller games that are just very good. You know? And like we don't have to worry about them per se. Mm. Like we'll be like, yeah, that came out, cool. Moving on. <laughs> like, the latest thing I've seen, this is our mini news section. The latest thing I've seen is that people are um just badgering uh Corey Barlog for the release date of God of War on Twitter. Yeah. To the point where he had to, like one of the people working on the game, they were sending her dick pics and was like just uh, just just being dicks on no pun intended online to this person like i want the release date for god of war and he had to come back on and tell everybody like yo what the fuck like stop yeah. you will get the release date when i say when we say when it is it's still coming this year don't worry etc 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 but people are being crazy i'm just confused by the train of thought that's just like yes i want to know the release date of god of war you know what really would get them <laughs> to release that date if i just send unsolicited pics of to my bell end yeah. <laughs> to this <laughs> random person that works at the studio then then they'll come out and tell me a date because of me <laughs> and my penis so we're doing a service to the video game industry and we're gonna do that like <laughs> like what was gonna happen you're gonna send a dick pic and she's gonna go on live and be like i'm sorry i'm sorry november 11th like what <sighs> watch it be november 11th now you heard it here first Ant was sending all these tick pics. <laughs> Finally went <Tick> through. Pics. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm not. I'm not sending any dick pics to anyone ever. Oh no. My same. philosophy is once you. S- oh no, Ant's internet is destroyed. Oh no, Ant. Ant, we're only ever gonna know the philosophy. We're never gonna know. Ant, if you can hear me, we can't hear you. And you're frozen. Oh no. Oh no. Ant, we've lost him. We've lost him, guys. You might need to leave and come back, Ant, if you could hear in any way possible. Ant, come back. We need to know the philosophy about dick pics. This is going to be great for the audio amigos that don't understand what's happening on Thursday. Let me help you out a little bit, Audio Amigo. So pretty much what's happened is Ant was about to tell us his phenomenal story about his philosophy on dick pics. But then what happened was um, he just went into the ether and was frozen forever. So now we'll never know. Um, I'm trying to, like, figure out what to do. Um... I just messaged him on Discord to see what's going on. Oh, nice. You just bought... I'm here. I don't know what happened. Uh, Neither do I, but you're frozen. You're here as well. Look at you. Look at you right there. Um, Can you try and leave and come back in with a different internet, maybe? Or else this is going to be a really short podcast. Oh, 
Okay, there he goes. Let me, uh... I just accepted you, but it did not bring you in. Hello? Hello. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was Insomniac. It was... It was <laughs> Corey Marlowe got me. Like, Kratos God, was yeah. like, nah, you're talking too much. God damn. Oh, man. I don't know what happened. I don't know either, but you were about to tell us your philosophy and then you immediately froze. <laughs> I was I said too much. Shout out to the gene uh yeah. the gene emojis in the uh <laughs> chat. <laughs> um, Gotta love it. I was watching the Twitch and I I see myself frozen. I'm like, I'm not frozen, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's great. So, um, my philosophy <laughs> was Rose to again. never send a dick pic. I feel that. Because the internet lives forever and someone will always be able to dig that up somehow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done that either. I've never done a below the, you know, mm-hmm. below the, the, the goods, you know. I wonder what the best shot would be, do you think? Like, what what do you think the best camera angle is if you were to do that? Like, what's your photo mode option in your I mean, video game of taking a dick pic? Taking a dick pic, um, you got to go, and I'm just freestyling here. Uh, you got to try to get as close to the base as you can up mm-hmm. so that, you know, it, you're fucking towering on that picture. See, my it's idea... All it's all height at that point. See, if, if when I'm with a person, they know the kind of person I am, so I would try to make it funny, even if we're like in a very serious, like, hey, how you doing type conversation. So what I would do is I'd place the phone flat on the ground or on a table or something, and then I'd mm-hmm. position myself in a way where my, my you know, pack is mm-hmm. at, at full mast, and mm-hmm. it's just like your god of war, very much like the Star Destroyer in Star Wars, you know, like <laughs> as it's coming on the screen, like that. But then, so like that's the angle you're seeing. So it's like this, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna peek my eyes looking down <laughs> over my head, and the head will be sh- like covering my face because of foreshortening. <laughs> that's a comic turn. You can- <laughs> I think that's you gotta- the best one. I would, uh. <laughs> I would I would lay it on a table next to other things that are around or near the same height. Nice. So I would have it. I would be standing in front of a table with my shit laying on the table, but also have next to it like a water bottle laid down, a remote control, <laughs> something smart. Is, like here you go. Here to scale. This is what you can be expecting. What you got to do is you got to go to fucking Target and get those like little mini brand things like the uh, it's like the mini peanut butters and the mini mini like household items like dollhouse stuff and put it next to it be like, yo, attack on Titan, baby. <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm just going to I would just send a dick pic while I'm doing something like I'd normally be doing mm-hmm. and my dick just happens to be in the picture. So like I'm I'm sitting I'm on the couch with a control like a PlayStation controller or some shit. Mm. I'm like, look at this wild shit that's happening in this game, and I'll take the picture, and my hand will be out here. But like also in the foreground, you just see like, just, <laughs> just <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm here too. And in the background, it's just some old ass Sonic game. Just like, God damn it! Fuck? <laughs> Gotta go fast. Gotcha. Uh, well. Maybe we should get into the main podcast now so that we can get some people on and then because I think people got some plans. So, all right, we're going to do that. We'll do that. I'm going to hit the intro animation and we'll do his magical editing once I send him the audio later this week. And now we're back. Here we are. <laughs> um, I, I believe... thought this was the show already. I, I, I didn't even think that. We didn't even intro. intro. No, we didn't intro anything. 
that that was oh, all off the, the cuff um per se um it was all off the dick <laughs> all off the tip all off the tip but um off the tip is the name <laughs> off the tip I... uh god it's mm-hmm. time we live in but um level up gamers technically we're all gamers here that's what we're, we're gonna get back on track uh, yep. Welcome back to another episode of the Say Before Quitting Podcast. As always, I'm joined by my lovely co-host. I'm lovely. I'm the lovely aunt. Hell yeah. And yeah. I am, I'm Chris. And um, you can follow us everywhere. Twitter, mm-hmm. Instagram, TikTok. Uh, I fucked it up because I didn't say the thing for... I didn't say the... It's 85 episodes and I fucked it up. You did. You can follow us at Say the Letter B Number Four Quitting over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Titty. Titty. Titty, titty, as always. Titty, titty, gang, titty, gang, titty. What up? Titty, gang. Obviously, you gotta make an appearance for the titty. The titty makes an appearance, as always. Stop. Take a dick pic from the side profile, personally, says you, Nagov. Oh, well, now I'm more confused and scared. Yeah, you should be. Why would um, the titty monster want to know about? Maybe the titty monster is also, like, the uh, chat reader. <laughs> like... <laughs> when we're not reading chat for a while, it just shows up. He's like, "You guys haven't been reading chat. That's the wrong. This is the wrong one. This is a cave. <laughs> this is the right one. This is the one I meant to click. I meant to click this one, not the one where I'm in a cave." Him in the chat. The cave one is him in the chat. <laughs> True. And the cave is um, when we're reading chat because it's been so long that all the messages are just echoing off the walls, wanting to be read. <laughs> you know. If the, there's just a, a new person in the chat and the name is like it's t1 tty m05 no m0 n5 t3 r titty what kind monster? of star wars droid is that jesus it, christ it's city monster with just numbers <laughs> it's just it's an r2d2 but with like boobs <laughs> well now you got to draw that or something no thank you um <laughs> you can, not, you can also buy our merch, guys. Go buy our merch. Say before quitting fully spelled out dot com. There's some cool merch options there for you guys. Titty Monster coming soon, apparently. Um <laughs> I forget what other options people want um that they would actually buy because I don't want to just make a bunch of shit that's just like all over the place. Um mm-hmm. that only one person will buy each of because Jesus Christ, I don't have that kind of time to just be making 80 different shirts that only one person will buy. You got to have um, a picture of that, uh, the Chris emoji face that we had, that you have now in the chat. It's mm-hmm. got to be that face, but with shades on and the bottom has to say C pain. Or right next to it, it has to have like a, a Nobody's speech bubble. Nobody's buying that. It has to have a speech bubble that says C pain and at the bottom it just says say before quitting. Nobody is <laughs> buying a shirt with my face on it. That is not, that is like that. This is C pain. Oh, yeah, Bullshit Jump Scare. That was the other one. Bullshit Jump Scare is one I got to do. That one actually makes sense to do, though, because it's just simple. I'm not making a C-Pain shirt. Nobody's spending money on C-Pain. Make an 8-bit version, like a digital version of your face, so it doesn't look like you straight up, but like a digital version of you with shades. It says C-Pain. Fuck. Bullshit Jump Scare should come before C-Pain, but Yeah, 100%. Um, (laughs) God damn it. But um, yeah, you can check out our merch, say before quitting, fully spelled out dot com. Then also our Twitch stream is there too, in case you don't want to watch it just on Twitch. Um, and then also mm-hmm. patreon.com forward slash save letter be number before quitting, where you can go and subscribe with three different tiers. And, uh, you know, there's options for you. Uh, $5 mm-hmm. tier gets you extra two podcasts a month, where we just kind of do what the intro today was, but long form. And that's yeah, exclusively what we talk about, but you get like an extra technically four or so hours of content per month. Um, and then the $10 tier gets you that, but you also get to come on this live recording podcast as well. So there's you do. that. So you guys will <laughs> see that in action a little bit later. Once we get through there's a couple news type stories that happened over the, uh, the course of the three days we haven't recorded, but um, right. not much per se. Um, but before you we get to that, it's the, <laughs> The Patreon is dicks, but long form, <laughs> long form dicks. Pretty much, uh, yeah. It's pretty stuff. accurate. 
Um, but before we get to that, Ant, what have you been playing in the since the three days that we played and <laughs> did this prior? Uh, I started the Live Alive or Live Alive, or say that demo. Mm-hmm. I didn't really get to play that much of it. I don't really have a full impression on it yet. Okay. Because I literally played like the very beginning. I haven't done anything substantial in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but looks good, feels good. Got that, got that going for it. Nice. Um some more of that Sonic Origins. Um, because Trenton won, that was the first thing he wanted to play when he got home. So I played it with him. Nice. Um I think that's it. That's it. Damn. Like you said, it's been three days. I haven't really Damn. done too much. I feel you. I feel you. Um, any more media that you've been watching or intaking? Are you guys just still Simpsons rocking it out with the belly rubbing? <laughs> nah. Uh, did I watch anything? Not really. Nothing of note. Like nothing to really mm. bring to the table. Okay. Um, as far as I go, uh, played a little bit of Fall Guys last night on stream. Mm-hmm. For figure friday um there was a little fortnite thing that uh you could get extra skins and shit um mm-hmm. for pretty much you know completing x amount of rounds you would get like fortnite skins for free if you had your stuff connected so that was pretty cool um got that uh i, I don't know if i will not play fall guys again because of that but like it's pretty fun for what yeah. it is it's a nice like it's one of those things where, like, if we were playing Fortnite or, like, uh, Apex or something like that, and we were having a bad time, and you just want, like, a nice little refresher game that you might not win at, but, like, when you lose, it's at least, like, funny and, like, yeah. a good time, that's a good one to go to, so it's pretty fun. Got the Battle Pass for free because I played the old Fall Guys, so that's nice. pretty neat. Um, So I do need to finish that because the last skin is Mecha Godzilla which is pretty fucking cool. So yeah. I'd definitely like to get that. Um, it was it was a fun time for most of us, as you can see in the chat right now, running across <laughs> the screen is clouds. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yuki was not having the best of times in Fall Guys, to say the least. But um, it was fun, needless to say. It, it, like playing with people, I would say is more Fall so. Is Fall Guys crossplay? It is. Crossplay and free-to-play now. Oh, I mean, I need to just get it on Switch then and just play yeah. with you guys. Hell yeah. I definitely would be down for that. Maybe we'll stream later tonight if anyone's in the uh, wanting to play or whatnot, but we'll see what happens. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, other than that, I'm very close to beating Red Dead 2. I was playing a little bit this morning. I actually had a really annoying glitch happen. Um, In the game, there's like a bunch of legendary hunting spots that you can go to where there's like big, you know, creatures that Mm -hmm. are harder to find. You have to track them down and whatnot. Right. And um the one that I was going for was this giant moose and I finally killed it and I skinned the pelt and I was going towards the uh, dude that you like sell it to so that you can then buy like really cool outfits from made from that like outfit material and there's like this you know how like shit just happens on the map randomly as you're riding yeah. this one thing happens where there's a naked guy and he's just like howling at the moon and then runs into a bush, and then a real wolf comes out and attacks you because <laughs> they're trying to set up, like, oh, he's a wolf man, but it's yeah. n- not really. It's, like, an actual wolf that's, like, running around with him. And I kill the wolf, and I see there's, like, a rabbit on the ground. So I'm like, oh, I'll cook up the rabbit, and I'll mm. eat it real quick because that it, the wolf did a little bit of damage to me. As I did that, it set up a campfire... And then when I got done with it, the legendary pelt, which was on the back of my horse, disappeared. And I'm like, what the fuck? And this little message shows up at the top left, and it's like, uh, you've abandoned your legendary pelt. You can go to the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The dude to go. You can pick it up pretty much at the guy, the, the guy that does the pelts and shit. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just go do that. Go to the pelt guy. It's not there. I look it up on on Google. It's a fucking huge glitch that's never been fixed where if you fall off your horse or you die and you have that pelt specifically, it just disappears from the game entirely. So you just asked out now. Exactly. Um, The only way to fix it is to go back to a previous save that you've done if you've done manual saves or some other fucking thing. But it was very, very fucking annoying. Um, 
I didn't get the pelt back yet. I did go to back to a previous stage, and now it's like once you kill the monster, not the monster, the uh, animal, um, it puts like an X over them on the map. The mm-hmm. X is no longer there, so like mm-hmm. at, at least I can go and find it again. But it changes its position depending on time of day and when you're playing and whatnot. So that was annoying. I mean, I'll go hunt it another time, but I don't think I'm platinuming the game, so we'll we'll see about that. But gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Um, <clears throat> that's a hell of a game to platinum. Yeah, I don't think I will. I just want to like beat it the the regular story, someone like the good guy side of it, and then I'll mm-hmm. probably watch the bad guy ending just because I don't feel like playing a whole nother playthrough just yeah, to like you. see what it's like, um, especially because of how big it is. And I also kind of want to try Red Dead Online, but I also don't know how much I'm going to like it because mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, been playing Fortnite on the side because you know, got to get through that. I did try to play my Oculus today, as you can see from the background over there. Um, oh, I haven't it. charged it in a while, so I turned it on and uh, it was at 15% like my phone is, which my phone <laughs> is at 46 today. So that's not terrible. No, it's high for you. It is very high for me. <laughs> um, it's that ironic. <laughs> it's very sad, but um, yeah, I wanted to play that. I don't, I don't really have any ideas of what to play. I just wanted to get back into that, and then I was going to play mm-hmm. the uh, Steam Deck as well, but that was also dead. So now I'm charging the Oculus. And you know, I'm you can charge, charge your devices. Deck. It, I do. I'm just like I'm in the mindset of like I could just plug it in, and I feel like the simplicity of the fact that I can just plug it in is what makes me forget to do it. I get it, and then like. I don't know why I'm not doing it, but my brain is just like, it's such a simple task that it just floats away. And then I don't end up doing it, and then my phone's at 5%. And I'm like, well, I need to drive for eight hours, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I also downloaded um the new Cuphead DLC. Oh, shit, yeah. The but Delicious Last Course. It. Yeah, I got it. I didn't get to play it because I kept telling myself, like, I want to stream this. Fuck yeah. Like, that'll be what I stream. And this was yesterday. I kept saying that to myself all yesterday, but mm-hmm. I got too busy. And then by the time I was like, all right, maybe I have a second. That's when you were, it was too close to when you were about to go on for a mm. figure Friday. So I was like, well, never mind. I'm not going to do it. Yet. Fuck it. You just do it today for funsies. Probably not though. Cause busy weekend and also yeah. belly rubbing schedule, you know, <laughs> I got to put that shit. I've been putting so much shit on my switch just because it's portable, mm-hmm. but I downloaded it for Xbox. So it's like I'd have to come down here to play it. But I'm really like, I'm about to just put that shit on my Switch too and just play it on there. True. Do but it. I don't know. I'm going to get to it eventually. You know what you should do? You should stream with Adrian. She's not in the capacity right now to even have the patience for that shit. I figured as much. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, she probably doesn't want to be on camera at all. But Yeah, no. Have Did her off to really? the side on camera so whenever you lose, she could just throw something at you and be like, man, you suck. Like, not even she would she would be saying that but she would also just be dealing with her like contractions and stuff yeah she don't want all that shit on camera i feel you i feel you maybe one day we'll see it's too happens. close to the end if we were still like months prior mm-hmm. to now then no, yeah. i feel you 100 percent. but um yeah i mean i feel like that's about all i've had time to play um i definitely want to play neon exactly. white okay. Those were her words. I don't want to be seen by humans until this baby is out. <laughs> that is accurate. I did see her, and then she was kind of pissed about it a little bit, right? No, she, she wasn't pissed. She knew you were coming. She wasn't pissed. Yeah, but she she was just kind of like, because mm. I was like, oh, I haven't <laughs> seen you in so what so long, and then she, I'm like, she's like, yeah, that's the point, and I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll leave. I'll take my eyes out. It's not my fault. I swear. But um, yeah, she I, wants everyone to remember her as she was. <laughs> I As get, if she's gone. I know that's my mu- <laughs> uh, that's what they say in like the movies and shit. It's I like, know, bro. Know. What? Um, but yeah, I, I do want to play Neon White. That looks interesting to me. I know Anna's playing it now. I do too. It's been um, getting a good buzz that I want to try it out. Yeah. Uh, we, I Steam family shared with Anna the last time we hung out. The funny mm-hmm. thing is, apparently, it only did that on my Steam Deck and not on my Steam on my computer. So I might need mm-hmm. to do it again. But on my computer, if possible, I don't know because I don't understand how Steam works and why that wouldn't have done both. But mm-hmm. um, I'm literally looking at my Steam and covered your face. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Okay, it's what the people want, Steam. 
Yeah, right. So my account <laughs> settings, I don't think I showed anything that's that big of a deal. It was just like, hey, here's your account. I'm um, going to pause that part and pick it apart. Yeah. Here, let me, for shits and giggles, let me pull that back up. I don't think you can see anything. You can see that I'm broke and that my email is that. That's it. <laughs> that's all you can see in my language preferences, yeah? <laughs> Look at his language preferences. Look at my email from when I was in motherfucking goddamn elementary school. What um, was it? CK Nalapup. What? CK. So mm-hmm. the initials of three out of four of my family. Yes. And then my first dog, Nala. Oh, okay. And she was a puppy at the time. Makes sense now. Yeah. That was my Listen brain. <laughs> this reminds <laughs> me of when you sent us the link to your um your old YouTube stuff. Oh, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> my old but YouTube let, channel stuff is it, not good. It lets me know that you were made for this. Dude, I have I, I had to private so many videos because I forgot about some of the stuff I had on there. And I was like, <laughs> like shit, <laughs> this is still visible to people, but now it's all private. I'm pretty sure. Like I had, this is back in the day when I used to play music a lot. So I literally had like guitar covers and shit, mm-hmm. but the music was coming from the speakers of my computer in front of me. And then I had a little <laughs> baby amp off to the side and it was recording on like one of those like handheld camcorders. So that's a you thing. sent you sent us a you sent me a video of you playing something. I don't remember what it was though. It was a game. Was it a game? It was a I think it was a game. Oh, I remember which one. The um the uh it's called I'm swimming around in a vagina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. It was a game called I'm swimming around in a vagina, and it was a bunch of sperm cells, and you were one with a top hat. And pretty much the top hat one um, was singing a song that was just like, yes, I'm swimming around in a vagina. I'm swimming <laughs> around in a vagina. And you just had to make it to the egg first. And that was the game I played. And I was a child and I didn't hit puberty yet. How old were you in that video? Probably like 12, 13. Mm. You didn't hit puberty later. yet? I mean, I was like in the stages of it, but like I feel like hitting <laughs> puberty and like finishing like, it are like. I haven't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait one second. Uh, da, 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 yeah, I still have not hit puberty. I don't know what you're talking about. I still haven't hit anything on that line. This is Valley Girl, baby. Um, yeah, you sound like a Valley Girl. You were a Valley Girl before you became a man. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was a thing. Um, it's a funny game. It's not a good one by any means. You're literally. It's like a side scroller. It's black and white, and it's terrible. Um, <laughs> here, fuck it. I'll post it somewhere give me a second <laughs> yeah, is it hey, little private? Chris. unlisted let's do that let's change it to unlisted uh, let me um not here obviously jesus christ swimming around and around. here we go guys um where can i post this that it probably won't go bad uh, I'll wait. I'll, I'm gonna preface. I'm gonna watch it myself to make sure I didn't say anything <laughs> stupid as a 13 year old. That is not good for today's climate. It can't be any dumber than the shit we say on this show every week. True, but I'm gonna still watch it and then I'll post it <laughs> later. I'll remind me somebody. Right. I have the video up. I played the audio, so you heard it slightly. But um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, goddamn, fucking embarrassing. Um, I used to have old videos on my YouTube, but I think they're all gone. No blind faith. I have no faith in myself. Um, (laughs) But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is for what I've played. I did watch the finale to Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. Um, Very good. Um, I feel like this season kind of made me care about it again, if that Mm -hmm. makes sense, because I kind of didn't give a fuck anymore after the second and third season. But then this one kind of it brought some characters in that were really cool the kids are older now so it's more like it's closer to like my type of relatable where it's like i remember Mm. this these feelings and like feeling like this more a little bit easier because like you know some of the characters are not in high school anymore they're in college or like college age so i'm like close to that so i can somewhat Mm. relate now but um it was very good and um dope 
Yeah. There was some sad parts that, uh, you know, I heard were sad. Uh, also sad watched Miss Marvel again. Miss Marvel, mm-hmm. still not loving it. <laughs> um, it it kind of, it's okay. This is the one Marvel series so far that, like, just no one's talking about it. Like, no one's, like, really I, I like giving it a lot of attention. I like the idea of it. I like the way that it's going. I just don't love the show. Like, I'm, there's no, like, reason for me to talk about it more because, like, a lot of the other Marvel shows, like, at least, like, take Moon Knight, for example. There was a lot of shit happening in that show that was very intricate and, like, oh, you miss it if you didn't see it and you have to go back and see it again. But right. then for Miss Marvel, it's very just, like, straightforward, like, this is the situation that's happening. There's kind of some stuff happening in the background, but... Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter at the moment. And it's just this teenage girl who's a part of a community that's not really talked about often. And you get a little bit of a glimpse into their world and what they experience. Mm -hmm. And then she just gets superpowers and that's it. And it's, it's simple to the point it's effective, but I'm not like, I can't wait for Miss Marvel. Like, yeah. I'm just like, oh, it's Miss Marvel Day. Cool. I will say it doesn't have that effect. It doesn't have the edge yeah. of my seat, the I can't wait for yeah. the next episode effect. 100%. And it's not bad by any mm. means. It's just, I'm like, okay. It's, it's here. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's a thing. But um, also. It's doing what it do. It do what it do. And then, uh, what's it called as well? Um, the boys. The boys is so good. It's I keep something. telling myself to get back to it. I have to go back and watch The Boys. The Boys on Amazon Prime. So fucking good. Phenomenal. We're in a post-hero gasm world. If you don't know what that <laughs> means, go watch it. Another thing I kept seeing, I was like, oh, not going to click on that because I don't. I'm not caught up. <sighs> the hero gasm, baby. Um, for context, just so you can get caught up, hero gasm is an event once a year where all the superheroes get together in one house and have a massive orgy. I figured it was sexual. Yes. And you see everything. There's literally right. a like, disclaimer at the front, like, just so you know, there's a lot of really like insane stuff happening in this. All of it is consensual in the world, but also it, it's a lot of VFX. Like, we understand that you're going to get triggered by some stuff, so just so you know. And I'm like, that's a lot of penises I saw that day. Good old dicks. Yeah. Can't get away from dicks in this episode. I know, right? Can't get away from them. <laughs> um, We're all over the place. <laughs> yeah, right. Run. Run from the dicks. Anyway. Run uh, <laughs> from the dicks. <laughs> getting into some of the news that uh, we didn't get to talk about on um, last podcast episode. Um, the mm-hmm. new PlayStation Plus games were announced for July. 2022 uh, we got mm-hmm. crash bandicoot 4 it's about time um man of madan which i've heard mm-hmm. is good i know that the haptic guys love that game and then arcade get what is that i don't know uh hmm. the style of it looks very weird it looks almost like osmosis jones kind of oh, but sure. um it is a ps4 game no, wait, that's a PS5 as well. You can get that for arcade again. But um, Man of Madon is the PS4 one exclusively. But yeah, the guy that plays The Deep was in The Covenant. Hmm. What is The Covenant? Is that a movie as well? I think The Covenant is a movie. Okay. The Deep is a very not good character in this show. He is um no good. Don't like him. But yeah. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. that's the PS4 games or the PlayStation games. Did we talk about Gotham Knights on last podcast? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. I just want to reiterate: fuck Gotham Knights because they keep giving yeah. the people superpowers. That's really that's exactly annoying the conversation me. we had. Cool. Just want to reiterate <laughs> that, just so it's known. Um, but uh, next up, we got a new game trailer called The Chant. Um, it looks like a horror-based game. Um, I don't know who it's by, but it looks interesting to say the least. Um, definitely a um contention game for uh bitch made because it's kind of alien psychedelic looking, but yeah. also madness and weird shit happening around everybody. But um, 
looks pretty shit neat. you love i hate it but um it definitely it. looks like it would fit in for the type of shit that people like seeing me play for some reason <laughs> um but yeah it looks interesting uh digimon survive got a gameplay trailer i don't know if you saw that we got a new yeah, digimon game coming um sure does look like digimon um and it's turn based fighting digimon are the champions better theme song it's not it's the better theme song it's not better it's so much better it's not we had how i don't know how many episodes back that was we had this debate but listen the debate wasn't much of a debate because i was on the right um <laughs> And we're talking about it being better than the Pokemon theme song. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, no, it's in no way better than that. You know why song. it's better than that? Because that one is memorable compared to the icon. The, the argument that I made was the Pokemon theme song is just iconic. The Digimon theme song is a better song. No, it isn't. It is a, <laughs> it's so much better. Musically, so much better. The Pokemon so theme song is way more. It's way better musically than the Digimon one. There's way less work that went into making the Digimon song Bullshit. than the Pokemon theme song. Nah. Off the intro alone, just the instrumentation of the Pokemon theme song. Next you're going to tell me the Pokemon rap is a better theme song. I used to know this. I can't even do it anymore. There's a hundred and fifty or more to see. To I never liked it. Pokemon master is my destiny. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Yeah. Wasn't the, like, the order of operations, like, like, the way that they did, told the Pokemon, it was just random? Yeah, and it that's, wasn't, like, in order. Yeah, it wasn't in order. There wasn't, like, type-based. It was just, like, here they are. Fuck you. And I, I hated that about it because I couldn't memorize them that way. I'm like, if it was in Why order number-wise, I couldn't. I, I, my it doesn't work as a I have song. stupid brain. It, it doesn't work as a song number-wise because it wouldn't rhyme. They put them in a specific order. So that Does it rhyme? rhyme? Yes. I didn't think it rhymed for the part where they actually said the Pokemon. Yeah, it does. I don't remember this. <laughs> I don't it think rhymes. it's real. I don't think it's real. If you read the Pokedex straight down, that shit sounds like a train wreck. So does that Musically. song and the Pokemon theme song. <sighs> You're wrong. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> uh, we mentioned it slightly at the beginning of the show, but God of War Ragnarok. Um, Corey Barlog had to come out and say some stuff, but um, Bloomberg specialist Jason Schreier has reassured God of War fans that the sequel to the Santa Monica Studios 2018 hit is still on track to release this November. In a post on Reset Era, he says that the game is still set to launch in November as of this current week, and mm -hmm. the team behind it is pretty excited. Um, after talking to sources, Schreier explains, I can def definitively say that there was a release date pre-order announcement planned for yesterday. It was bumped at some point last week. I don't know why. So we were supposed to get a pre-order and a date yesterday, tour, so two days ago, technically. It was supposed to be the 30th. Yeah, so we were supposed to get that then. And um, now we don't have it, sad. Um, but at, we at least know that it's literally on the horizon, which is crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I, we were talking about this earlier when I sent this to you. I would be very... <laughs> I'd be happy because I, I, I like the confidence of it, but I'd also be sad because I want to see more if they didn't do a state of play for it. Mm -hmm. um, you, you were saying, like, they got to be doing one soon. But, like, what if they just... We're like, here's the trailer, here's the pre-order, go fuck yourselves. And that was all we heard until the game came out. I could see that, but they could pull it off. Yeah. There's certain there's certain franchises they could pull that off. Yeah. They don't need to show you anything because their fan base is already so built in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 100%. I feel like that'd be more exciting too, like for the game. Yeah. Like if we just got like 30 second trailer that showed us pretty much what we've already seen with maybe like mm -hmm. one or two type story beats that weren't anywhere close to being spoilers. And that's yeah. all we got till November. Bro. I, I'd love it if it was even smaller than that. What if Corey Barlog and PlayStation, the account on Twitter just tweeted out, here's the date, here's the release, here's the pre-order link or go to the PlayStation store. And that's it. You don't see a picture, a Bro. trailer, nothing. I'll tell you what. I will be requesting off like three, four days just to play that game. <laughs> and I'll stream the whole fucking thing. I literally will wake up to play that game. 
and that's it. Oh, hell yeah. Hop on Twitch. Hey, guys, we're at this part in the game. Here we go, and just go. And just play the whole thing through until it's done. I can see that happening. Dude, it'd be so much fun. Also, shout out to Yuki for putting a verse from the poker rap in the chat. Where does it rhyme? I don't see any rhymes. Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venus, or Ratata, Fero, Pidgey, Sea King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly, Ponyta, Vaporeon, Polyrath, Butterfree. I don't if see the rhyming. Just, huh? I don't see the rhyming anywhere. All right. Well, they reached with Mankey and Pidgey. That really doesn't rhyme. But it comes back around to Ghastly and Butterfree. They're kind of rhyming the ends of the... Uh, They're Pokemon. only rhyming the sound E... Yeah. That's it. Hey, you want to write a Pokemon rap? We could. We could. We could. We could. If we say we could again, I feel like we have to. <laughs> we? Moving on. Um. So, yeah, that's about all the news that we have, because literally there's not been much that's happened since we uh, last put out an episode. Um. So yeah. next week's episode, which oh. is... Um, oh, who what, who was it? Insomniac. They yeah. put out a um a, a quote saying that they are are due to. I mean, regardless of the rumors, they are not working on Sly Cooper or Infamous, and no other outside company is working on those either. He was like, "We know we've heard the rumors, but none of that is true." Well, that's just depressing for me. I'm sad. I was mad at that too. I thought because there were so many r- infamous rumors and Sly Cooper rumors. I thought I was waiting for the infamous trailer eventually. But no, unless this is just one big troll on everybody, they straight up came out mm-hmm. officially and said, "Yeah, those aren't being worked on." That's sad. I wish that we got another infamous. I'm not. I've never been a Sly Cooper guy. I've always like seen it from the outside looking in, being like, "That looks cool," and then never had mm-hmm. the means to play it. I've only but, played um, the demo of Sly Cooper. Man, we're fake Back fans. In the day. Fake gamers. Yeah, pretty much. That's us. Welcome no to the game fake gaming all podcast. Talk. It's all dick talk and no games. All you guys talk about is dick. You don't talk about games anymore. <laughs> God damn. Hey, that's what the people Listen, want. Listen, there's a million podcasts talking about games. Where can you come get quality dick conversation but here? Exactly. You get the games that you care about and then also a little bit of dick. Just a little bit, Nick. But um, just a little bit. Um, (laughs) goddamn. But uh, this is the (laughs) Patreon uh podcast, which means we're gonna have some Patreon peeps on in just a second. Um, obviously we're gonna make sure that everyone's good to go before we uh, you know, get the clear and go ahead. We only have one person waiting to join, so it might be a very short episode because we've only been going for an hour or so. That's taking out the ten minutes in the beginning where we were. Just shooting it up. shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let me go over to Discord and be like, yo, anyone else getting on or what? Um, I know CLD said he should be able to, but he's away still on Discord. Um, Uniguff, are you ready? Slash- we could also answer the que- after the calls. We can answer the questions in the Patreon pod that we didn't answer. We didn't answer questions? There were questions that came in after we were done that we never answered. What? Where? Go look in the uh the Patreon Discord. What, but where in where in there? Hold on, let me, <laughs> let me get there. Let me. Get I'm there. still at the rose gold section. <laughs> uh, looking, 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 looking. Gotta look them all. Gotta look them all. Is Unigoff even here? I want to make sure before I just hit the accept button and bring you in because I don't want to, you know, like you'd be in the background. Just oh, like June twentieth. Okay, there's two. June twentieth. Let me scroll for a bit. Uh, um, is it the Pib Extra one and then the Yuki one? Yep. Okay. They came in as soon as we were done the show. That is true. That is definitely true. Okay, we can do that afterwards. We'll do that after. We get um, we get Unigov on. Unigov, are you ready to join the podcast? Slash, what do you want us to call mm-hmm. you for this live podcast? He's Unigov. Yes, I know what you mean. But yes, that's why I'm asking <laughs> preemptively. 
Ye. We have to call him Ye. <laughs> or Butt the OG. Butt. What, call him what does Butt, butt OG. OG mean? <laughs> Hello, Butt OG. How are you? Welcome, Ye OG. <laughs> ye Butt OG. Ye old NGP anomaly. <laughs> what would you like to be referred to before I hit the accept button? And I. Because we'll probably cut a little bit of this out for the actual main podcast. You could just ask him on air. True. But I don't want to make it awkward in case, you know. He said, okay. <laughs> okay. Just make it sure. Just want to make sure. Cool. All right. I'm going to hit the accept button in T minus five seconds just in case you need to put some nips away. Um, because Not him. Lucas. Nips. All right. Yeah. Sub-E. What up? What's up, Bud OG? Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, whole wheat, but um, <clears throat> it was from like the farmer's market uh, down by me. So mm-hmm. it's some good shit. Butter? Is that what you put on it just now? Yeah. Listen, well, this, is the to- this is the toast interview, so be ready for toast questions. All right. Sounds good, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, like I'm not a big av- av- avocado person, so like, um, yeah, I I don't normally do uh, breakfast sandwiches or breakfast with toast like that, so you know. <laughs> I didn't set this up. Oh no! Now I should be able to be heard. Boom. Okay. Now, cool. next toast question. Um, if you had to go for a sweeter spread on your toast, what would you go for? Uh, strawberry jelly, I guess. Okay, um, good choice. Good choice. I'm writing this. Let me get a pen. I'm writing this down. Grape is superior. No. Ew. It's, no. Fuck you, Chris. You're wrong. Grape jelly is my preferred. Chris is the troublemaker of the show, if anyone has it. No, that's just it. a fact. Is... I don't like <laughs> strawberry at all. Well, you don't like a lot of things. But you don't like a lot of things. <clears throat> yeah, but you you're know. in the minority. Really? Is the, is the majority, like, is the one that is known the most, uh, what's it called? Strawberry? Like, is that, like, the preferred overall, like, favorite? No, I think I like grape more, personally. Okay. So I'm right. Okay, you and Nicole are wrong. <laughs> Chris. Ant is on the side, too. Ant, Ant no, I be. like grape. I'm not, but he's not. I'm not gonna immediately shit on his my well, no, strawberry. Here's the thing, like grape ain't bad, but like I feel like grape is the preferred though. Because like here's well, the, if you go to a diner, you get some toast on the side with your omelet, right? You put grape jelly on your toast because that also goes with the coffee. Like grape and coffee I, taste good together for some reason. I don't put jelly on my nah, toast. We that- can't base it on that metric. I mean, be, no, that's just stands, an additional reason by itself. Stands alone the best, and honestly, I think Yuki has the right answer. Cinnamon butter from Tech that is really good shit. Right oh there. yeah, well, no, that that's not pro- that's like, like super top tier. Yeah, that that, cookie butter that shit good. Cookie butter is great. Orange I'm not a big fan of like no. My brother was always a big fan of orange marmalade. Ew. Uh, I don't know if he still <laughs> is, but. He is. This, this, is the show. this is the show. Video games. What are video games? We're talking about toast, butter, jelly, dicks, and marmalade. <laughs> hey, and you know what? You can have them all for breakfast. Wow. <laughs> wow. I retract. <laughs> that is true. That is true. As oh, long God. as I'm serving breakfast and not taking breakfast. <laughs> hey, fingers crossed, man. Nah, I'm serving it up. <laughs> Well, hey, here we are. <laughs> this is a Hi, Patreon podcast Lucas. at this point. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, I'm living it. I uh, was cleaning my apartment, and mm-hmm. somehow I'm making a bigger mess than I had before. So, I mean, that's how it we got to tear shit down to bring shit together. Yeah, honestly. Hell yeah. But, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Well, hey, if anyone in the chat or you guys has a suggestion for good garlic pickles, I've been in like I've been craving them, mm-hmm. and I need them badly. And the ones at the store are trash. I don't like pickles, so I'm not the guy to answer this question. Same. <clears throat> I'm not a big pickle person either. 
I just really want to go like pickle. I hate pickles. Ant and I are best friends. This is, this is, we're right just on the same. Work. Grape jelly and hate pickles. <laughs> Dicks. That's, that's all it takes. <laughs> Uh, and I get video games and all that nerd shit. Right. Yeah. Make your own, says Anna. Make your own. Sausage is sure. a part of a balanced breakfast, says Yuki. <laughs> I'm not a big so- sausage person. And for me, it's got to be patties over legs. It depends on how I'm <laughs> how I'm eating sausage. <laughs> to Because uh... I'm eating like a breakfast sandwich. Then I'll take the patties over the links. Mm. Yeah, I'm you know, yeah. Just like a plate of breakfast food, then I might take the links over the sausage. I mean, over the patties. No, I, no, I see you. So here's the real question, though: When you're having breakfast, and you have oh, I know you whatever <laughs> whatever type of sausage you choose, whether it be patties, links, whatever. And let's say you got like waffles or pancakes on the side. Obviously, waffles are better. We're not going to get into no, that. No, fuck you. No, no, we're getting you wrong. It depends <laughs> on what the fuck's bro. going on. Either way, you have to stir it up. Stir let's just say that up. you have some sort of cake on the side that is a waffle or a pancake, right? Mm-hmm. You put the syrup on that, obviously. Now, mm-hmm. the syrup touches the sausage. That mm-hmm. makes it better or worse? Better. Overall, I'm not, I normally don't do it, but better. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're all in agreement there. Sarah That's what can we touch can agree everything on. Everything on my plate. Yes, hundred percent. You, I go out of my way to like tilt my plate a little bit so that my syrup just goes oopsies over to the side to the sausage. So I'm like, oh, gotta eat it now well, with the the sausage. I have a plate full of food and put syrup on everything before breakfast. Jesus food. Christ! <laughs> and Chris, why are you like just put fucking syrup on your sausage? Like if you're if you love waffles so much. You got to do your syrup so it gets in the crevices. I, yeah. I know that, but like when it depends on where you go, they give you like not the, the container that you pour from yourself. Sometimes they give you the cup where it's like only, you only get one. And mm-hmm. I'm the kind of person where I'm like, I'm not going to ask for more. Cause well, you're wrong. Why? Ask for more. Because that requires social interaction. And I don't you do know why. It's about what you want. You're paying for your meal. Get what you want. I technically already got my meal that was no, given no, to no, me. No. I don't need syrup, additional. You ask for more syrup. You bring that waiter over here. Nah. Yo, can I get some more syrup? Can I get also, two of these cups of syrup? Wherever you're going that's only giving you one is cheap as fuck. Like, that's a, that's that a good mo- point as well. Yeah. Like at Michael's, they'll give you like two minimum, usually a third. Mm-hmm. And you could well. just ask, and they'd be like, "Here, I ain't got to pay for it." Here, yeah, no, I'm, I guarantee. <laughs> unfortunately, none of those people are making enough money to give a shit. They'll hook you up. Listen, I have a problem. We know this. Moving on. What's up, Lucas? How you doing? Breakfast <laughs> talks over. Back to video games. How you doing? Good. Uh, um, I've been rocking um, Dishonored One. Oh, and mm-hmm. hot damn. Uh, so it came out in 2010, and mm-hmm. hot damn, were those graphics so close to being, like, human? But Jeez. there's something, they're just far enough away where it's, like, uncanny valley, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. It's just creepy Don't... the whole time. <clears throat> yeah, and like, the worst part is it's almost not creepy. Mm. Like, they kept you far enough away where you're like, all right, it's passable, but. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel you. Yeah. What else have you been sense. playing as of late besides Dishonor? I know you've platinumed a couple games as of late since the last time we've talked to you. Uh, I've platinumed uh, Horizon 1 uh, nice. with like 75 hours. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I platinum anything else after that. Oh, I that. thought you got two done as well. Or are you still working on two? Uh, I got like 10 hours in, two. Mm-hmm. Um, then the quarry came out. I played that. Got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't play any games because I'm like, did you platinum COVID? Uh, yeah, I got double immunity now. So I bet. Cool. cool I was cool, gonna cool, go cool, towards cool. The, the fucking the podcast title needs to be the quarry gives you COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Clickbait the fuck out of everybody. Do it. I would do it. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, during uh, like. My second week of having COVID where I didn't really have it, but just like some secondary symptoms, I was like, damn, I, I got Chipotle delivered. I, I'm mm-hmm. like, when I had zero appetite and I'm like, I just fucking need it. That's yeah, I, I threw all that shit up. 
Jesus like, Christ. Oh, shit. God the damn. Worst, <clears throat> the worst part was, like, it wasn't digested enough. I could feel every piece of rice coming back the fuck up. Uh, it was a bad time. Not a good time. No. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, um, with this Patreon section, you get to come on and bring on a topic or something. We've already gone over toast and what you've platinum. Is there anything that you wanted to bring to the table for breakfast? Um, <laughs> y- no one's going to because it's like 18 hours, but you all should watch um, Alexandria Unlimited Calamity, uh, which is part of a podcast, Critical Role. Mm-hmm. I need someone to talk to about it because I definitely was crying at work because of it. And had my, um, so it's a, a Dungeons and Dra- Dragons podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty much the current campaign is like present day, and this is uh, pr- pretty much uh, Calamity is the defining event that in, in the way past that kind of fucked the world over. Okay, and Doomsday, the, yeah, pretty much. And this is the story of that starting at least. Mm-hmm. And it's Make very it. good. I definitely had my coworker come over as I was holding back tears, like visibly. And then I, <laughs> when I asked him what's up, my voice cracked. I'm like, I'm going to go kill myself now. <laughs> he was like, I'm out of strawberry jelly. And I just don't know how to make the it wor- through. The worst, well, the best part is Sabu was a real MVP. He was just like, here, I just need to give you this shit. Bye. And I'm like, thank you. I'm going to go cry now. And this was as everyone was just like, wait till Friday when you work from home and listen to it. Then I'm like, there was a big ass fucking cliffhanger on episode three. I need to know. And it was. And it made you cry at work. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It is funny because the the two people in the chat right now that know of this are very much. against you not against you but they know what you're doing here yeah um, I, stop trying to make it. fetch happen Lucas. <laughs> that was funny as shit. let's make fetch happen please guys like god damn but um we'll no i feel you fetch. i watched the first two episodes of it because i am watching critical role as of late um because D uh, as a podcast is good like it's like four hours of just content but then, Which is too much content, to be fair. But it depends on the situation, though. Like, if you're at work and like you're doing a remedial ass task, that's just like I gotta fucking just do the thing and like go through the motions. Off to the side, just like a table of seven to eight friends playing a board game that also is pretty much good. Um, I like the man main campaign more, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, I, like three. Well, the main campaign of three, yeah. I still need to catch up, but um. I, Alexandria Unlimited, the sad boy version of the game. I did like the first episode and second so far, but yeah, I, I feel like Critical Role is such a cool thing now mm-hmm. because they they came from like nothing, even though they kind of weren't nothing because they're all like very popular voice actors, but then out of nowhere just popped off and now they're like, they're making action figures of the characters from the Amazon Prime show. Which and like is, they got mad comic books too. Comic books, Funko Pops, merch, like it, it's insane. So Critical Role is good. I, I agree with you. And people do need to listen to Xandria Unlimited for some sad times, but you know, cry at work at another time. With oh, your so strawberry. You got a five <laughs> in the chat. Yeah, I see that. Oh man. You gotta come to the big platform, I see, to to get people to listen to your. Sh- to, oh no, I put uh, this is wrong screen. Yeah, Sorry, guys, I goofed. I goofed the Twitch stream. Sorry, guys. There you go. What did you do? I goofed everything. It's still goofed. There it goes. Oh now shit! It's fixed. I see it now. Hey guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how to ban people. Buy followers, primes, and viewers on my stream. What the? Uh, Uchiha San. Damn, those damn Uchihas, man. <laughs> Fucking Naruto. But, um, yeah. Is, is that really all you came on this podcast to do is to get an audience to talk to you more about 
Uh, no, I was. Okay, I was just curious because I was like, "God it damn!" Was this rat is- and pickles. I respect the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck video games. This spot. You checked this first. The check box is checked. You did it. Yeah, you you did it. You damn <laughs> did it. God uh, damn. I, well, you more video games, it. I guess. Uh, I did buy Dishonored two on sale because I'm really liking the first. Okay. Um, I got you got a new uh, laptop. Talk about your new laptop. Yeah, it's pretty fucking baller. Uh, it runs shit now. I'm what kind of laptop crispy. is it? Um, Acer. Um, thankfully, it came with Windows 10 and not 11 installed. Mm-hmm. And I can decide not to install that new Windows because fuck that. Yeah, yeah. My, my computer keeps trying to get me to install that. Thankfully, it has, like, when I first booted it up and did everything, I was like, hey, update. And I'm like, no. And then it hasn't hit me up since, which is surprising, but... GG. Yeah, uh, it has like a 3070. Um, it's not an i9, but it's... It's, you know, uh, mm-hmm. comparable. Nice. Um, yeah, but it's pretty fucking dollar. Are you um, playing any games on that yet, or are you just still using it as... A, a computer first at the moment. Um, no, like I'm playing um, Dishonored on it, okay. but it's a ten year old game now, so like Not I don't really need, need that this much com- power. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been doing Elden Ring on it when I was playing Elden mm-hmm. Ring. We got to play I, together because I got to figure out how to do that. Same, honestly. I don't know how to join friends in Elden it's, Ring. Fingers and shit. You just gotta finger it. That should be a funny stream once y'all figure that out. Yeah. God yeah. Damn. But yeah. But um, yeah. I don't think I've let, let's see what else I got installed, I guess. Um uh-huh. I, I got nothing. That's fine. If you that, that's cool. It, yeah, to no, be fair, this is... <laughs> you had a lot of stuff to talk. We talked about jelly and how strawberry is terrible. We talked about how waffles are better than pancakes. <laughs> We talked about how you play pickles. Dishonored 1 and 2 now, and you need pickles and people to listen to Critical Role. No, the worst part is uh, some of the people we met at PAX last year, mm-hmm. and when I say we, I mean I talked to and you all. Well, Chris, I don't think you're there yet. Mm. But Chris just kind of stood in the background and was like, can we move along? And Anna was mad at me because <laughs> she wanted to go do shit, and I was holding her up. But That's one funny. of them, their parents <laughs> does pickles, and... I might hit her up to be like, yo. <laughs> and I will we... find them and I will kill them. <laughs> yes. I know we haven't talked since November. Can I get your parents' info to buy pickles? Please? That shit sounds like some serial killer <laughs> ass <laughs> shit. Right no, that's the worst part. It does. And I. She's a but nice you need lady. The pickle. But you need I... the pickle. No, dude. Like, that, her parents make these extra garlic and pickles where, like, you can feel it still as it goes down. It's burning your esophagus. And I need that sensation back in my life. Yes. I Listen, man, I do. What has COVID done to you? God you're damn. Right. I mean, no, once you was... platinum COVID, you're a different person on the other end. True. Where'd you get all the trophies? Dude, it, it was a long haul for those trophies, man. Yeah, I'm sure. But, yeah. no, like, I... Well, th- uh, at least Anna and I are going to go to the Ren Fair on... August August twentieth, I guess, mm-hmm. and they got good uh, pickles there. Nice. That's partly why I want to go to the Ren Fair because I know I can get pickles there. By the time you get there, you're just gonna be like a madman. Like, where are the pickles? Yeah, like knocking down like like whole shelves and sets and everybody. Like, show me where the pickles are. Yeah, oh dude, no, like I'm probably gonna get there, get a pickle first thing, and get another right as I leave. <laughs> you gotta bulk Don't. up for winter. Double yeah. fisting pickles. <laughs> hey, wouldn't, wouldn't it be the first time? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, we appreciate you for being this is on. the best call we've ever had. <laughs> we appreciate you for coming on, man. We appreciate it. And thank you for being a patron as well. It helps hey, a lot. You. Yeah. Um, and uh, we appreciate you. Know. Yeah. Hey, no, I appreciate all what y'all do. Thank well, you. we'll let you yep. go about your day. We'll Jesus. see if anyone else wants to come on, and then we'll wrap it up but goodbye Mm -hmm. lucas bye peace all right switching back to us 
This is like the least video game podcast we've ever done. And we've done Patreon podcasts where we exclusively talk about <laughs> things that are not video games. True. True. This, well, this is a, a hell of a one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else is able to come in from the Patreon or not. That might be what we ended on besides the two questions that we have in Discord. But um, if you would like to... we just to, got another question in Discord. God damn it. Um, in the pod questions. <laughs> in the pod question sections. No, two more. Two more. Okay. You want to do those two or do you want to do the Patreon ones or do we want to save the Patreon ones for a Patreon podcast? I feel like we can answer one of these Patreon ones because it's the game John related. one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then, then the we'll... other one, we can pretty much base the, the next Patreon podcast off of Yuki's question. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll answer the ones that just came in as well. Cool. All right. That's the game plan. Appreciate you guys for being here. We got a couple questions to end the podcast. This is going to be a weird one to edit. God damn it. Um, <laughs> Anna's saying her audio is busted. She'll come on next month. We appreciate it's you for either way. I wanted to try and get you on. I know you have a barbecue to go to, but I know that the audio situation is gunked up. Um, but yeah, let's check out the Patreon. What question do we want to start with first? Um, The Pib Extra one and then the ones Anna sent in. Okay. Yuki, your question, which we're saving for Patreon, the next Patreon episode is five things each of us are grateful for. So if you want to hear that, sign up to Patreon if you're new here. Only $5 to hear that episode coming soon, which will probably be... I mean, we could do it. Yeah, in the next... Next week or the week after. We could record literally tomorrow, Monday, or Tuesday, and I'd be free all those days. So, because I have off... Baby. That's on me then. I'll let you know what my what my days end up looking like. Well, not Sunday, actually, because I have a movie day. Sorry, that's my fault. Monday uh, or Tuesday. <laughs> word. And then it'll be out the whatever day afterwards. But um, yes. So over in our Patreon peeps Discord, uh, we had a question come in from John Pib Extra. And he said, What are perfect atmospheres, times, weather, available drinks, slash snacks, etc., for playing different types of games? So, take it away, Ant. What's your atmosphere um, looking like? Perfect, perfect atmosphere that does no, no longer exists in my life is just complete by myself aloneness in a room. Um, weather, I like a dreary ass day. Um, drinks, I don't know. I'm not really, I don't drink a whole bunch of like alcohol or anything. So, that one can kind of be whatever the drink as Mm -hmm. long as i'm being refreshed snacks preferably if it's a snack and not food something i can dump into my face like a bag of chips or like or like like i don't know some kind of candy anything i can just pour in and then keep gaming Mm -hmm. so i have shit all over my hands i feel um for different it doesn't matter the type of game it's the same for all games Anything retro that you've been able to beat 80 times in your lifetime already? 80 times? Um, you've beaten Mario probably 80 times. Yeah, I've probably beaten him 80 times. I just ran through Sonic Origins because I've probably beaten those games 80 times. Um, uh, Link to the Past, Mega Man, the old Mega Man X games. All the ones that I've always talked about that were pivotal in my life growing up. I've probably run through those a million times. I feel that. Um, I guess for me, it depends on the game situation. Um, I also love a dreary ass day just because, I mean, it gives you the excuse of not being able to go anywhere or do exactly. things. Mm-hmm. I'm also in the mindset where I'm like, if it's hot as fuck out like today, mm-hmm. I still won't want to go out and do things. So this is also kind of a good day, like a very hot day where you're stuck inside with the AC because that's the only thing keeping you operable as a human for that day. Um, Mm -hmm. What was the next part? It was food and drinks. Drinks, I'm also not much of an alcohol drinker. I very much am a social drinker. While, like, I'll have, like, one or two things with, like, a group of people. But on my own, when I drink, I just get hella in my head. And I don't like that. I don't like being in there. It's not a safe place for me. <laughs> so I like to stay as far away out of it as I can. Um, 
and conscience at, at conscious conscience, conscience is the thing that's attacking <laughs> me um but if I can, when it comes to drinks i very much i've been drinking water a lot lately so like i like water with like the flavored mio things i did mm-hmm. one where it was like a lemonade flavored mio but then I did a little squirt of grape mio, so it was grape lemonade, Ooh. and that shit was <laughs> like fire. Here. That was great. <laughs> um, and then I've been drinking Dubby a lot as of late. Shout out to Haptic Intel because yeah. I I like it, and I also it, I don't think it gives me energy like it says it does. Like it's like supposed mm. to be like a G fuel type thing, but like when I drink it, I'm very much I'm more awake. Like it awakes me up a bit more. Like mm. and then. I also like drinking coffee late at night when I'm playing games because coffee doesn't make me wake up. It makes me go to sleep, actually. It's weird. It crashes like, you? Yeah. It, it's a weird thing. Like I'll have like dinner, and then I'll have coffee, and then I'm ready for bed. Like, mm. straight away. You warm I don't know. your body up and you lay down. Yeah, 100%. And then like <laughs> it doesn't keep me awake at all. Um, it's weird. I feel like how much monster energy I drank in high school kind of fucked my caffeine intake a little bit. <laughs> so like, it doesn't do anything to me anymore. But it reversed your, the caffeine effect. A hundred percent. Um, when it comes to snacks, though, I like candy a lot, but I never fucking get it, and it's weird. Like I'll like go to Wawa and shit, and like I'll see the candy section, and I'll just walk away. I'll never fucking stop and try and grab something. But when it comes mm-hmm. to candy, it's got to be something fruit flavored. Got to be. I mm. love, I love hard candy. You ever had like the like that grandma's like hard candy bullshit? Yeah, yeah, that. But exclusively the lemon and lime ones because I love those two flavors exclusively. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're a Starburst person, I know that everyone hates lemon and lime for some reason. I'm the guy that takes the yellow ones only. So that just shit, yellow. Fire. I love lemon flavored stuff. Like I love. No, no, no. Lemon. they're great. I like lemon too. I don't like, like the yeah. strawberry. The cherry tastes like Motrin to me. Um, what's the other flavors? Um, there's cherry, strawberry, orange. I like because it takes like a orange Tic Tacs, but you know, chewy. Mm. Um, I think that's it. There's no other flavors for Starburst. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. But I don't like the strawberry because I just don't like strawberry flavored things. Mm-hmm. The cherries, medicine, orange, and lemon are like the. You like the two that most people have at the bottom of their list. Yeah, hundred percent. Which is great for me. <laughs> true, true. You kind of make out yeah. in that sense because like the, it also feels like they put those two flavors specifically in to piss people off, and then I'm just mm-hmm. like breaking in the dough. I'm just like, please, can I have another, <laughs> sir? Like, feed me. This one. Now that I think about it. Um, you said dough, pizza. Like I know it's cliche, but if I'm just chilling, no holds barred, I can just have like a box of pizza sitting there, and it'd be one of those times. Like I'll eat a slice, like wipe my hands off, yeah, grab the yeah. controller again, keep going. What kind of pizza? From where? Are you getting like a just a pizza Wild shop, or are you going pizza. fast food pizza? Um, number one on my list will always be a pizza shop. I think okay. that the best tasting pizza. Yeah. And After that, then it's Papa John's. And after that, probably Domino's. But it has to be a specific pizza from Domino's. I think they, I forgot what the pizza's called. Like it's like their New York kind or whatever. Mm-hmm. Crust or something like that. Or was it their deep dish? I think their deep dish from Domino's. I really okay. like. Um, and everything else after that is just whatever. I used, I used to like Pizza Hut, but we had the pizza talk in Discord already. Yeah. I feel Pizza that. Hut was number one in like the '90s when I was a kid, and now I'm like, nah, Pizza Hut's the bottom of the list. Pizza Hut's sad now because of Pizza, what I have it to used be to be. The, like, I have to specifically want it. Yeah, like have I wake up and like I want Pizza Hut today, yeah. but if I have a choice on a regular day, then I'm Pizza Hut is not a go to anymore. Hundred percent. I would put Domino's above Papa John's personally, mm-hmm. just because I like the ability to build your own pizza more on their website. Like I like their process more. Like it feels more mm-hmm. streamlined. And I know that's that has nothing to do with the actual pizza, but like I feel like it's easier to actually get what I want. Easier to on get the their pizza site. You. Yeah. Like <laughs> like they have like the whole fucking the pizza tracker and like you get like the different styles of it and whatnot. Yeah. You're like, oh you don't like our style? Well here's a rock and roll version. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And then like I'll be like sitting here watching a youtube video and out of nowhere i hear just like this like power chord like your pizza is ready oh, yeah <laughs> i'm like they do do that 
and I love it because I, I choose what I want and then it's fucking ready and then it comes over to me. But um you just, fucking, you just like you just want your pizza your pizza distributor to jingle the keys in front of you. Literally, like, yes. Like a child. <laughs> I want the feeling that I got when I was a child at Chuck E. Cheese, but as an adult. We're all looking for that as an adult. Yeah. And Dave and Buster's ain't it. Ain't it, no, motherfuckers. Not. It ain't. But um, yeah. I I feel like um when it comes to like games to play though, when it comes in those situations, like story based games, I feel like are definitely great for the dreary days, you know, because mm-hmm. it kind of fits in with a lot of the settings for some of the games that I play. Mm-hmm. But then like first person shooters or things like Fortnite or just like games I play with friends like Fall Guys and stuff like that, like remedial bullshit that like you don't really need to fucking try. But like when you do mm-hmm. whatever, that's great for the hot days because like nobody wants to be outside when it's too fucking hot out unless they have a pool in their backyard. And none of my <laughs> friends have that. So we're all inside playing games. So it's a win-win. So I, I, now that you say that, <clears throat> like the games I mentioned, of course I can play those. But like if I'm playing like a long story-based or third-person action RPG, something like that. Mm-hmm. Like I think I brought it up on the show before, like a while back. But I remember, um, was it Zelda Twilight Princess came out on Wii? Was it Wii or Wii U? Wii on Wii, and it was, I had like a week off of work and I just sat in my apartment in my living room and just I had a, like a, I remember having a giant bag of Doritos next to me, like the family size bag. Yeah. You are your family at that moment. I was my own family. Yes. And I, I remember just shoveling that into my face and wiping my hands off and playing that game from beginning to end. I, I was eating those. I ordered a pizza at one point, ate that, was playing that game fell asleep on the couch, woke up in the same spot, continued, did the same exact thing. Nice. Fell asleep again, woke up, beat it that third day. And then I went and like, I, I, need, I looked at myself and like, I need to go become a person again. I'm just a lump right now. Full of that. cheese. <laughs> Filled with cheese, both dust version and liquid version from pizza place. <laughs> right. <laughs> God damn. But yeah. Uh, let us know over in discord what y'all's ideal situation is for gaming when it comes to weather and snacks you're playing. I assume you'll have been because I keep getting discord badoops that I had to put streamer mode on. (laughs) So sorry, audio amigos. That's what that was. But, um, fucking yeah. Let us know what you guys think over in discord. Um, apparently I have ADHD. So there's that. That's what Um, they're saying. (laughs) Here we are. (laughs) I don't doubt that. Um, next question that we have for the pod um asked by anna literally a minute ago um what is your favorite barbecue food food and do scare fireworks scare you i assuming because the holiday this weekend fourth of july fuck america mm-hmm. after this past week of news yeah she's um, been going crazy but um when it comes to barbecue food i burgers. are burgers barbecue i mean you make them at a barbecue. What kind of barbecue are we talking about? We're talking about cooking out a barbecue or barbecue like ribs and yeah, because that's where my mind went. Like a barbecue, you know what I mean? Like you go to Mission Barbecue, the restaurant that has like pulled pulled pork and shit. Like that's like mm. that, but also like burgers are oh, definitely she said a thing. Backyard barbecue. Yeah. Okay. So See, burger. my my go to when it comes to like backyard barbecue stuff or like burger, it's always a burger, one cheeseburger, and then one hot dog. But I always mm. eat the burger first because I know that's what I want. And then when I have the hot dog, I have it. And if I don't <laughs> want it, mm-hmm. oopsies, it went back on the plate. It's no big deal. And then someone else will take it because there's like 80 kids running around that don't care. This is also in the before time, before like that was like a kind yeah. of a gross thing to now do. Now people will be like <gasps> spray it with hand sanitizer. But um <laughs> now it's safe to eat. Yeah. Soak <laughs> it. Just like dunk it in like KY jelly, but it's fucking hand sanitizer. KY what kind of what kind of barbecue is this? Like a bucket of KY jelly, but it's hand sanitizer. You know <laughs> I what I'm saying? Saying, yeah. But and it's just team. like your hand is covered in ectoplasm <laughs> holding a hot dog. If Dicks. I'm at somebody in some <laughs> if I'm at somebody's backyard and there is a bucket of KY. I'm like, okay, 
Someone tell me what the rest of this party is going to Everywhere's be. Everywhere's wearing like pineapples and shit. Isn't that like the thing? That's the thing for what swingers. Thing? The swinger oh, thing. I didn't like know it, that. Like apparently if like couples are swingers, they wear pineapple on their like their outfits or they like have pineapples. Mm-hmm. And then like you're like, oh, they swinging. God, I didn't know that. This is, I learned something yeah. today. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, yes, hero. Don't wear pineapples. Much, that's what's happening at that party. Um, KY is for the slip and slide. Jesus Water Christ. for the slip and slide. KY, you're slipping and sliding into something else. What was that song that was on your uh, that game on your YouTube? Huh? What was the song that was in that game on your YouTube? Swimming again? around in a vagina. Yeah, that's what you're slipping and sliding yeah. in if KY is at the party. Yeah. I'll post that later. Please, someone to remind me so I can actually vet that. Um, <laughs> Um, burgers and, and no, I'm not scared of uh fireworks. Anna mentioned in the chat pasta salad. I'm gonna say this, and pasta people are gonna great. have a people are gonna have an opinion about it. I've never had pasta salad because it looks gross. Well, to I me. don't think anybody's surprised by that. Well, I, I, it, the reasoning is that it looks gross. It's really good though. It could be, but it looks you, like it objectively does not look good. Are you, you know just what I mean? Going off the looks of it. Yeah, legitimately, that's it. Like, I've never had it because it does not look appetizing to me. Like, it's not even, like, anything to do with, like, it smells a certain way or, like, it tastes... Like, I just look at it and I'm like, that looks disgusting. But if you break it down, like, what's in it, none of it is, I don't even know what's in it. That's the thing. I just look at it. That's gross. Walk away. (sighs) Like, what is in pasta? There are different kinds, but... Let's just go plain Jane... You're going to a regular old barbecue. What is in the pasta salad? Um, pasta. Um, oh, no shit. Veggies like I don't know, tomatoes and lost me there. Cucumber and cucumbers. Okay, I don't eat them, but I'm not like I hate tomatoes. Um, it's hard because it's made. Do you have vinegar? I don't know if I've ever had vinegar like straight up. Like, you had to have eaten something with vinegar on it. It probably had vinegar, but not like as like a, a like the star of the show, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like I've never had like a vinegar like balsamic or some shit like yeah. that on a salad because obviously don't eat those. Um, <laughs> oil. They just put fucking motor oil in this shit. You in this motor oil? Do you think motor oil has <laughs> dripped over everything in the world? <laughs> Sounds like it. it. Looks like it too. Um, I don't know macaroni salad is cream based i think it's a yeah. mayo mustard thing i hate mustard yeah. so i would not do that i would pick i would pick um what was the first salad we were talking about um macaroni no the first salad we were pasta talking about. pasta i would pick pasta salad over macaroni salad every time what is the difference because both are noodles one is different it's differently based like like um and i said it's kind of cream based it's like mayo and maybe i'm thinking about uh, what's it called? Macaroni salad. When we were talking about pasta salad, because I don't know what pasta salad is. Then, if that's not what it is, pasta salad is like oil vinegar based. Macaroni salad is like cream based, like mayo based. You know the best part about this is we have the technology. I can. You ever had pictures. seafood salad? I don't like seafood. Oh, that's that, that's just like a general thing. Like right, I, well, I've I had it before, and I just don't like it. Like I've actually gone through like every fish. Like I'll mm-hmm. have salmon. Every once in a while, but I'm not searching for it. Um, mm. Tuna, I'll eat from like the packets and shit. But other than that, like I don't like crab. I don't like uh, shrimp. I've had it and I just not a fan. Um, okay. I've seen this pasta salad shit before. It always has like these weird colored noodles. Like there's like the green and orange ones, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or not. You can make it without those and just regular pasta. So like in theory, this is just oil in here with the noodles that are, have been cooked, but it's also cold, right? Yes. Okay. That's why it's a summer kind of thing. In the, I, I might try a pasta salad. I would try. I wouldn't eat, like, the vegetables and shit. I, I don't like tomato because tomatoes are just gross. Like, they have boogers inside of them. So, like, no. <laughs> you, you ever open a tomato? It's got boogers. All right. Tell me the goop that's inside of a tomato is not I booger tomato. texture. I don't. I would never classify but it as a booger. Tell me that it's not booger texture, though, of all the stuff that's inside of there. How many boogers have you eaten? I'm not talking about eating. I'm saying like touch wise, <laughs> like touch. I guess, but then a couple. You could call a couple things booger textured. 
Like what? We don't, I don't know. What other food do you eat where you're like, hmm, this definitely looks like booger? I have to think about it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let you know real quick. The answer is none. Nah, fuck you, C-Pain. Get out of here. <laughs> um, Something. I have to think about it. It's hard to think about because it's very, very specific of what's inside of tomatoes. Like that, it's very boogery. And I don't like tomatoes are the best. They are beef steak tomatoes are dope. Beef steak tomatoes sounds like not a tomato. (laughs) Like it's just like like we took some beef and steak and shaped it to look like a tomato, (laughs) and then spray painted it red with this candy apple general spray we got from Walmart. Like, listen, I'll I will make a sandwich and cut a nice thick slice of beef steak tomato, slap in the middle of that sandwich. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was doing that like two weeks ago. I had like we had some lunch meat in the house and I just made the fucking I toasted the bread, melted some cheddar cheese, put like some turkey and I put like, like a nice thick stack of turkey on it and then like a piece of le- like some lettuce, a beef lettuce. steak tomato Oil and vinegar, little sandwich oil mix. I have that on it. I've never had a sandwich Pepper. with oil or vinegar. What does that do? It's a flavor. It tastes good. Yeah, but like like oil, like sounds weird to me. It's like it's like vegetable it's oil. Similar right? to the oil like that they're talking oil. about that goes on the huh? It's like vegetable or olive oil, right? It's, yeah, more or less. Okay. I only use that to like coat a pan when I'm making something. I've never used it as like a topping. <laughs> what does it do? Like what like, a specific taste it has that's very good. I don't know the exact type of oil. I we we got this uh and you can find it in like the supermarket. It's just called like sandwich it's not sandwich spread, but it's pretty much oil, vinegar. It's like an oil-based mixture that you could put on your sandwich that they use in like delis and stuff. Okay. Do you I put it on top of like, the meat or do you put it on top of the bread? In the meat. Like it's inside the sandwich. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like do you put the oil down before you put down the meat? You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you have like a like no, a hoagie. I put, the meat on, I put the meat, meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and, and I then put you put the, it on. Um, then I put the oil on, then I close the sandwich. Okay. So it's not like it doesn't get like absorbed by bread. Nah. Well, I also toast my bread. I like uh, toasting my bread, so it's kind of stinks. I'm hungry now. I literally just had an Arby's thing. Um, God damn. <laughs> and then the, the fireworks question. I, I don't know about being scared by fireworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jab right in the chat. It's like oregano and olive oil. It's like that, yeah. Mm. I like oregano. Oregano's good. But... um. Fireworks have never been a scary thing to me. I think fireworks are overrated unless it's something like at Disney or something like where it's like a show. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like they do like the projection mapping on the castle or like they do the phantasmic with like the water and shit. When it comes to like fireworks, the only ones that I'm scared of is two houses down. I have a neighbor that mm-hmm. um he buys these M80s, I think they're called. And it's literally just a single firework that you light, put in the street, and it sounds like a gunshot times ten, and he just he just randomly lights them off, like randomly. And it it could be like some like obviously holidays. Like I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear at least one or two over the course of the next couple of days. But like he'll like randomly light them off like random weekdays every once in a while. Mm-hmm. And like those ones scare me because they sound like a specific thing. Like they sound like a gunshot. And like not to say that I'm in an area where that would happen, but you know. I guess. Those happen so often that, like, if a gunshot were to happen, how am I supposed to know that it's a gunshot or an M80? Because there's that. So there's, like, that in the back of my head. But um, when it comes to, like, you. I don't know. I, I don't know about scaring me. I just think they're overrated. You know? I'm always, I'm a parade guy. I like parades. I like fireworks. I, um, they started, people started letting them off here last night. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> I'm sure they'll be going until like the middle of next week. Yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> you up in the chat. Parades are overrated. I mean, to be fair, I was in parades like in the drum line. So like 
Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a better experience for that. Like, I remember just doing parades. Like, the experience always sucked because, like, it was always hot because mm-hmm. it was around these types of holidays. But, like, when you're done and, like, you do it, like, it's just so cool to see the people on the side of the road and, like, their reactions. Like, I remember we we did a Disney parade once for our high school. Like, we got flown down to Disney and actually was in the Disney parade. Mm-hmm. And it was hilarious because cool. I was the only drummer that was able to make it. So it was just me and then my drum instructor who was playing bass drum. And you know, like, the train track in the middle of uh, the street, a Main Street? Mm-hmm. My little foot got caught in it, mm. and um, I had to slide it inside of the track for like a solid six or seven steps. But I remember when we were doing the uh, the John, like the you know, like the cadence, like where the band's mm-hmm. not playing, the drum line continuously plays. Um, we were doing that, and there's a part in our cadence we had where we were doing like stick tricks and shit because we were pretty decent as like a drum yeah. line, and we could do that while walking. And I did it. And I see this little kid off to the side, and his eyes just lit up. And I don't like kids, but that feeling was something. And I was like, that right there, that's good. I like that a lot. But um, parades are good, especially the music one. I, I feel like Disney parades are like the specific ones I'm speaking of. But yeah, here we are. Disney knows how to set it up, man. Set that yeah. magic Give up. Give us for money, us. Disney. Give us, Bring us to Disney stuff, Disney. We'll, we'll do a live pod from Disney. I would love to. Could you imagine doing a live pod from Disney? That'd right on Main Street sick. with giant speakers loudly talking about dicks. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Fuck. We just lost our Disney sponsorship with the I beginning mean, no, of no, this no, podcast. No, no, not, no, not, not dicks. Tricks. Mm. Parade tricks like Chris was just talking about. Yeah. Parade tricks, yo. But um, yeah, that's about all we got for you guys on this lovely Saturday afternoon. No, all some of you guys got some plans to get to for the holiday weekend. Hopefully, you guys have a good, safe weekend. As always, yeah. fuck America. Um, <laughs> as always, <laughs> fuck America. As always, um, but um, make sure to be safe and whatnot. Uh, maybe Please we'll do, do a stream it. later if Ants gets some free time. Maybe we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll we'll see. play some Fall Guys for funsies. Um, I know there's a couple of you guys that um, want to, you know, hop on and play with us. We, we'll, we'll play for some games or whatnot. If we get 10 people, we can make a private lobby over on um, that. But any less oh. than that, we only can play four people at a time, sadly. So mm-hmm. obviously, if I'm streaming, I'm one of those people. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. I mean, if anything, I can also just compete in solos while you guys are in the chat and we can play, you know. Y'all play on a team, and then I'll play by myself, and then we'll just have fun conversation. That's an option, too. Either way, we'll check it out later. Um, We'll let you guys know what's going on. Have a good night. As always, you can remember to save save before before quitting. quitting. Uh And we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Now you get the post credit scene where we just kind of talk. Look at this. Look at us. This just in. Fuck America, everybody. This just in. Alert the press. Alert the press. I am reaching you from Main Street, Disney. Welcome, everybody. We are in the Main Street Plaza of Disney Let's Park this, right yeah. now. And hey, um, it's, been, it's great being here. Hey, everybody. You see some, some kids walking by. Got their balloons and their treats and their stuff up. Look, hey, it's Mickey and Goofy over there. Mickey and Goofy, where's Donald? Nobody likes him. Ha <laughs> ha, he doesn't wear pants, but you guys do. That's crazy, isn't it? It's weird <laughs> so, how he's allowed to not wear pants around children, huh? <laughs> Disney security just tackles us immediately after that statement. <laughs> it's kind of weird, guys. Kind of weird. Put some pants on the duck. <laughs> Put some pants on the duck. Podcast title. Podcast <laughs> title. Put some pants on on the duck. Yo, 75% of this podcast, 90%, they're going to go through them like, where do they say that at? Yeah, and then some of them, they're going to think that the podcast is over, but they don't know that this is here. The I wonder how many scene. people don't listen far enough in to hear after the last theme song. I don't know. There's, there was a good one last week. Last, week's, yeah, last the, week was good. That was a good one. Did you like the, the video editing I did 
for the, huh? uh, the did you see the video editing I did for no uh, I gotta go watch the video the devil voice yeah, it was pretty good. okay I gotta I gotta go do that yeah, go it was it was a good fun little edit I learned how to do some stuff so that I could do it and I was like I gotta learn some stuff why not fuck it so, yeah what I feel like if we did a podcast in the middle of Disney we just have to keep talking about Kingdom Hearts <laughs> that's it like that game and that new game they're coming out that Disney Mirrorverse three, Mirrorverse that's Wait, the no, mobile no, game. no 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 the other one. The Sims one. Oh, the Sims one, yeah. The Mirrorverse one just came out, and I don't think anyone's talked about it much. There's really cool character designs, apparently. I think Hercules looks cool as shit. And then, uh, what's her name? Does not look good. Um, What's the fucking name of the Princess and the Frog woman? Um, I just can't remember her name. I literally see her. Shit. She makes the things. She makes the powder things. The things with the powdered sugar, beignets, she makes those. Uh, Tiana. 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 I said Tiana. Tiana. <laughs> Tiana. <laughs> Tiana. Tiana. Tiana, yeah. Apparently hers is like goofy and not good. Like not good at all. Like they very much were just like put her in an outfit that is okay, I guess. And didn't like at all do anything New Orleans based. And people are kind of like, what the fuck, you? But here we are. People can't get it right. Nope. Yeah, we'd be in, anyway, we'd be in the middle of Main Street. And just be like, yeah, so we're on our fifth hour now. And uh, so Sora and Mickey and Donald and Goofy. Sora should have never been in fucking Smash Brothers. This is bullshit. Fucking <laughs> you guys open the goddamn loud it, bullshit fucking Super Mario World. And you got this. Waluigi was robbed, guys. And this is bullshit. You guys made this fucking land. You don't even have any fucking Waluigi merch anywhere. This is stupid. You guys suck. So we do that, and then you see like a Mickey himself, like in a costume, comes walking over, and squares and up. Like, he you know he hands us a cartoon dollar sign bag of money, and he's just like, "Now get the fuck out of my park." <laughs> Bags of money, baby. Hell yeah! But uh, yeah, that's all we got for you. That's the longest post credit scene ever. Yeah, I think it might be it. Hell yeah! All right, guys, we'll see you guys later if we do a stream. If not. We'll see you guys on the next Patreon episode. And mm-hmm. this is probably getting cut from the actual episode, but we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye, y'all.